大家好，我是 Dom， 欢迎来到哈密巴中文官方频道。以下是我的免责声明：此演示仅用于教学和教育目的，使用的任何参数仅用于演示。我们的内容不构成任何金融、财务或投资建议。每个用户都要对自己使用和配置哈密巴以及参与流动性挖矿负责。这是我们的第四期节目，继续跟大家介绍流动性挖矿。这部分内容是。流动性挖矿的实践操作，我们还是继续用麦克的视频作为素材。如果有兴趣，可以在视频下方找到原版视频的链接。那么开始吧。So it's pretty simple. There's three base basic steps. The first, we're going to create、uh, API keys、uh, on an exchange because that's what we use to both、um, track your data,、um, but also the API key is used by Hummingbot, the bot. To actually automate a trading strategy. Number two, we'll take that read-only API key we create and put it into Hummingbot Miner, which is the application we use to track your data. And number three,、uh, we'll take the trade-enabled key, put it in Hummingbot, and use that to run a trading bot that can earn rewards. So、uh, let's get into it. So,、um, so first, let's go and create an API key. Um, I'm going to use Binance as a demo、um, because Binance is、um, is one of the most、um, you know popular exchanges in crypto. So to get, create an API key, API key, go to your user and then API management over here, and you're going to want to create two API keys.、Uh, the first one is a read-only key, so make sure that、um, the enabled reading is on, and that's really that's the only check you have to、uh, set. And then the next one. Is、um, a trade enabled key, so a key like this that enables both reading as well as spot and margin trading.、Uh, make sure to write down both the API key and the secret key because you'll need both when you、um, enter them into the apps. So that's step one,、uh, and then finally,、uh, then next, go to step two.、Uh, go to the Hummingbot Miner、um, app. So this is a web app. The URL is miner. Hummingbot.io.、Uh, you can also access it from our website. So this is a list of the different、um, trading pairs on various exchanges where we've had、uh, a, a customer fund a reward pool and it's available for them to earn. So、uh, this here shows the total amount of rewards across all the different trading pairs、um, for this week,、uh, and right now it's about twenty three thousand dollars. So it's really a combination of reward pools in each of these individual、uh, trading pairs. So this number is the total amount of liquidity provided by bots currently in the last snapshot, and so right now there's over 500 bots providing、um, 700,000 dollars of liquidity. Also, this liquidity is really only the the amount of、um, open orders that are on the order book within、um, you know a maximum spread, because、um, I think typically about two percent、uh, of them of between the mid price, and so it's really that. That the volume is clustered around the mid price, and it's probably the that was actually going to be filling trades all the time.、Uh, and finally,、uh, this number represents how much volume our miners have filled over the last 24 hours, and、uh, this is a yield. So the yield here is、um, analogous to the yield in other liquidity mining,、um, you know, platforms, but、uh, the, the our yields tend to be higher because、uh, this liquidity is just only the liquidity. The volume is only the volume on that. Close to the order book,、um, so that's why the yields are higher. And、um, if we take a look at one of these individual markets, so let's take a look at、um, the the uh, the NEM uh, Tether market on Binance. So this is what it actually looks like、uh, for one 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 market one pair, trading pair. And、uh, basically, in this week,、uh, NEM is paying out four thousand six hundred NEM.、Um, so reward pool is about three three thousand dollars. And、um, so th they've set the maximum spread at one percent, which means that、um, only orders within one percent of the mid price are eligible.、Uh, and the payout asset is the NEM token. And so every week,、um, you know, users who earn rewards in this token are getting paid out all the time.、Uh, you, so you can also see kind of what's happening in every single order book snapshot. So these are different snapshots we've taken of the order book. You can take one approximately once a minute, and so you can see in this last one there was、um, 16 bots、uh, providing about 27,000 dollars of liquidity 
within the one percent spread range. Um, and uh, you know, so you can see the breakdown between all miners versus you, uh, how much spread they put on versus your spreads, and finally, everyone's rewards versus your uh, share of that reward. Uh, and then finally, uh, you can also look at a leaderboard. So the leaderboard tracks what's happening throughout the miner uh, app across the entire user base. Uh, and so right now, uh, the, the, there's uh, quite a few top uh, contenders, and this demo account that I'm running is you know, way behind. Uh, but, but for me, it's, it's a still a good use uh, of the, the small amount of funds that I have. So, so ultimately, we've tried to create a system that where if you're a professional market maker, you know, you're going to be playing in the top of the leaderboard um, you know, trying to earn the most rewards. But uh, even if you're a small, um, small individual, uh, you can still play in one of the smaller markets uh, where you know it's a lot, lot less competitive. Uh, for example, um, maybe something like the the, the Phoenix uh, mobile markets. Um, so that's it. So let, let's uh, so finally now let's, let's do step three. Let's actually show you how to uh, run a bot and start earning rewards. So um, I'm going to go to, um, this, this is HummingBot over here. HummingBot is a command line application that you can download from our app, or from our website, uh, install by Docker, or install by source from our GitHub directly. Uh, it's a command line interface, which means that uh, you control it by entering various commands. For instance, um, the, uh, this is actually frozen. Give me one second. This is what happens when you try to do a demo. Uh, give me one second to load that back up again. So I'm actually going to CC, uh, SSH into my uh, into my Dropbox. Uh, sorry. Okay, and then the back back up. Ah, okay. Here's a bot. So let me widen the screen so you can see what's going on a bit better. So HummingBot is a command line app, so you can use a help command at any time to figure out what the list of commands are. Um, and then you use the connect command to connect to an exchange. Um, and once you've added the API keys to the exchange, you can then use the balance command to see your balances across the different exchanges. Uh, so currently I have a bot running. Uh, so let me, let me stop this bot and set up again, and I'll show you how to uh, create a bot from scratch. So uh, use the create command to create a bot. And what we'd recommend is the new liquidity binding strategy. If you're gonna pick liquidity mining, this was just released in the last um, in the last release of HummingBot 0.36. And uh, we think that because you can you can it's really focus on liquidity mining, it's optimized for liquidity mining on, on our mining platform. Uh, I think that we recommend this as the easiest way to get started for new users. So uh, you're gonna get asked a series of questions. And the questions are, are used to set the parameters that define the strategy itself. So the first one is the exchange where you're going to be running the, this strategy on. And so you can select any of the central exchanges that we've, um, that we've connected to. So I'll pick Binance for this one since we have the minor platform only on Binance and KuCoin uh, currently. Next, you're going to pick a list of the different markets that you'd be market making on. Uh, and so um, I, I would recommend looking at um, kind of like the, the minor platform and seeing which trading pairs you're going to pick. Um, I'm going to pick only the markets that have USDT as, the, um, as the, the second symbol, and you'll see why in a second. So I've picked these four different uh, trading pairs. And then finally, I'm going to use um, my USDT balance to provide liquidity to these various markets. Um, size of the order. The size of order is really depends on you. Um, there's uh, the only restriction on our side is the minimum orders. Some exchanges impose a minimum order amount, but there's no restriction on HummingBot side because it's just a tool that helps you um, interact with various exchanges. So I'll use I'll just use twenty dollars for the time being. Um, the next question is. What the spread of your orders are. Uh, so the tighter the spread, the um, the closer you are to the mid price, and the more often you're going to start filling orders. Uh, but if you're new, we recommend you start wider because you're also paying fees. And so if you set the spreads too tight, 
then um, the fees you pay for every trade might be actually higher than how much money you're really making. So um, I would recommend something like 1% um, as, as something that's fairly wide. Now, you do need to take note of the, the max spread uh, on different markets. But generally speaking, we advise that you users um, you know, enter cautiously as opposed to trying to maximize how much people are starting. The next, um, you're going to enter into a target percentage. And the way this works is that basically it's going to try to maintain that target inventory um, as a percentage between the base uh, and the quote assets in that trading pair. So um, because I'm doing this across four different markets, I'll, I'll just kind of use a 20, which means that I want to try to have 20% of my of the value for this position um, in the, the risky asset, uh, which is the first asset um, in the trading pair, and the other 80% in Tether, which is kind of like my base home asset. And so, so then, and that's really the, the, the main basics of the configuration. And then you can save that config in a file that you can load later on using the import command. So now we can hit start to start the bot. But before we do that, let's take uh, a second and check our configs. And so um, there are some global configurations that are set by Hummingbot, and there's some strategy specific configurations over here. So you can see the, some of the ones we entered, like exchange, uh, market, token, order amount, and spread. Um, but there's a few other advanced ones that we can set. For example, uh, we can set whether to kind of like turn on or off inventory skew. This is kind of the, the, the logic in the bot that tries to maintain a certain inventory position for you. Um, and in addition, we can also set things like how quickly the orders are refreshed, um, the tolerance. So if they're within this tolerance, the orders are not refreshed. Um, and, and in addition, uh, there's also an interesting feature of this strategy where it'll, it will widen your spread if the market is more volatile. Uh, because when the market's more volatile, it means that um, you know, there's, there's more risk that the market kind of goes up and down. And therefore, as a market maker, you may be taking more risk. And so the bot, when it detects that the market is more volatile, it, it would try to widen your spread to, um, to create a safer position for you. So that's the general kind of principle how it works. And then if you hit the start command, it's going to start placing orders on Binance uh, and automatically um, you know, adjusting them every, every 10 seconds to, to automate the strategy. So um, you think of market making and pretty much all of our trading strategies as is as, as simply a, a process, an automated process that, um, that loops through the same set of logical decisions every, every clock tick. Uh, so so there's, it's really not any magic or black box. It's, um, we really think it's akin to you know, kind of running a program on your, on your computer or in the cloud as automating a trade for you as opposed to a person having to kind of automate, uh, having to kind of click buttons and do it themselves. So let's check on how the bot's doing. We can use the status command to see um, the orders that are being placed. Um, and so, so the status command shows you the different markets, um, the, the price, what the volatility is, the, um, and, and, um, and other, other information. Um, and then we also have a, a, a miners uh, section that will show you um, the, it uses a, the API from Hummel Miner to show you real time information about what's, what rewards are available, uh, what the yields are, and other pertinent information. And finally, here are my orders over here. So, and then um, after, you can also use a history command to see how much um, you've, how much you've kind of like executed the strategy because we just ran the strategy. There are no trades to report yet. Um, and then finally, you, uh, you can also then look at the miner app itself to see if your orders are being picked up. So to do that, go to the dashboard, um, click on order tracking, and then you can see kind of, you know, um, so here are my current orders. Uh, this, this, is, this, this white area is where I stopped the bot in between when I went to uh, kind of like set up this demo. Um, and these X's are when I was running the bot before and all the orders I had canceled uh, before. And then finally, uh, one last thing, to see how much you're actually earning and to get paid, uh, you can go to the rewards tab to see kind of a, a chart of your current reward histories across each snapshot. Uh, and once a week, uh, we pay them out. Um, on the minor app, um, and, and so 
and, and you, you'll basically get paid directly into your uh, blockchain wallet from each of these different, different coins. So that's really liquidity mining in a nutshell. Um, uh, finally, if you wanted to really understand how it works, we have a, uh, a well-maintained documentation site. Uh, so where it shows you how to install Hummingbot, um, you know, how to connect to all of our exchanges, uh, as well as more information on exactly how each strategy works. So we recommend that you uh, look through all our docs and really understand how a trading bot works before you um, deploy your uh, real capital with it. Uh, so thank you very much for attending this demo. Um, for us, yeah, having bought, our goal is to democratize the, the finance world through open source software. Um, and into, because we feel like anyone in the world has the capacity to be a, um, a, a quant trader uh, or a, a very sophisticated uh, you know, algorithmic um, trader. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I'll be, uh, I'll hopefully, I'll, I'll love to create more of these videos in the future. 最后是我们的问答环节有位同学给我们发来了这样一个留言你好请问一下就是我感觉那个币安上的流动性挖矿很好用想知道你们的产品有什么优势这个问题问得很好对这个币安上的流动性挖矿和我们的产品进行比较这是一个比较几句话可能解释不太清楚的问题那我们专门写了两篇文章来解答这个问题从各种不同的角度来分析这个问题这个链接也会放在视频的下方大家可以看一下以上就是本期视频的全部内容我们下期节目再见